Hello, and thanks for tuning in, everyone. I'm joined once again by Stephen Destiny Bunnell to debate which faction was more justified in the original Star Wars trilogy, The Empire or The Rebellion. Good to be here, Ben. I'll cut to the chase, Stephen. The Empire brought peace and stability to the galaxy. There's no way you can possibly dispute the words that came out of Emperor Palpatine's mouth. I can very easily dispute that, but let's hear your case. The Clone War was a galaxy-wide conflict that saw the deaths of perhaps millions of clone troopers, an unknown number of average, innocent citizens on both Republic and Separatist planets, as well as the deaths of countless planetary defense forces, all started by the Jedi in an attempt to maintain control of these Separatist worlds. Hold on, do you really think that the Jedi were responsible for starting the war? From a public standpoint, yes. They're the ones who went to Geonosis to conduct espionage, and they're the ones who brought an entire army to fight with them in a full-scale invasion. The Separatists were building an army of battle droids to use against the Republic. If anything, the Republic was probably justified in their invasion of Geonosis from a first-strike policy standpoint. A case could be made that the Geonosians had the legal right to retaliate against what's obviously an egregious violation of their sovereignty. The Republic were not necessarily the good guys, Stephen. The Separatists had plenty of perfectly valid reasons to want to secede, chief among them the blatant corruption and negligence of the Senate. But that was all orchestrated by Palpatine, wasn't it? Wasn't he the one who started the war in the first place? Technically, it was Darth Plagueis, and a case could be made further back that it was Darth Tenebris or the plan of the Sith all along, but the Senate existed before Palpatine became the Supreme Chancellor, and its problems were well known. A system as bloated and inefficient as the Republic was bound to fall sooner or later and be replaced by a much more effective one. But such efficiency comes at a cost, doesn't it? I mean, we know how evil Vader and the Emperor were. They massacred people and even their own soldiers like nothing and subjugated entire planets and peoples. They're basically Nazis, Ben. Starting to sound a bit like Hassan there, don't you think? Don't you appreciate the irony of this, Ben? You, a Jew defending a faction that were literally inspired by the Nazis? I don't see the irony in it, Stephen. The Empire was literally an oppressive fascistic regime that was willing to commit genocide in order to maintain power. They destroyed Alderaan just to test out the Death Star. That's not necessarily true, Stephen. They destroyed Alderaan to prove a point to the Rebellion, and unwittingly did a good thing, considering Bail Organa was a leading member of the Rebellion. You have to consider that the Death Star was a necessary tool in maintaining order. It was used sparingly and only against specific planets. Sparing use of a planet-destroying weapon is not a defense of its morality. And you can't ignore the ethical concerns of having a Sith Lord as the Emperor. Palpatine was a brilliant strategist and a master of politics. He knew how to bring order to chaotic galaxy that was filled with, let's face it, a bunch of people who had lost control. And it's not like the Rebellion was by any stretch better than the Empire. Its leaders were impulsive and reckless, willing to endanger entire planets and their peoples for the sake of freedom. The Rebellion was composed of people who were personally affected by the Empire's evil and sought to restore democracy and freedom to the galaxy. Aren't those principles you hold dearly as a conservative, Ben? Perhaps in the real world, but in a fictional galaxy filled with an ancient order of wizards carrying laser swords and giant slug monsters acting as crime lords of a multi-planetary drug trade? I don't think so. Guys, don't you think it's strange that Padme basically groomed Anakin ever since he was a young boy? Serves her right that she got force choked in the end, am I right? I find it odd that that's your contribution to this discussion, Vosh. Yeah, of all the crazy things that have happened in the Star Wars universe, is that really your one gripe with the story? Guys, you know it can't be an older woman grooming a younger boy. It has to be the other way around. There it is. Kicking him now. Screw you guys. Don't you fellas ever wonder how easier life would be if we could learn Jedi mind tricks? No more having to carry candy in your pocket to get kids' attention. All you'd have to do is wave your hand and say a few magic words. Joe, don't you have a country to run? What year is it? 2023. It can't be. Wasn't Nixon impeached just yesterday? Kick his ass, Stephen. We needn't look far to see what eventually replaced the Empire. If you've seen season three of The Mandalorian, you know that the New Republic is basically an Empire light with more corruption, negligence, and bureaucracy. Stephen? What? Oh yeah, the New Republic, uh... Is something wrong, Stephen? No, it's just that I expected Hassan to interject by now. Maybe he's finally learned not to mess with us. I guess he has. What happened last time anyway to get him to scream like that? I had Sam sneak into Hassan's house to scare him. I guess he really learned his lesson after that. I guess so. You know what's strange, Ben? Now that he's finally gone, you miss him? Yeah. That's a common facet of human nature, I suppose. Our sentimentality. Do you want to finish your point, Stephen? What were we talking about? Star Wars, Stephen. The Empire and the Rebellion? Oh, right. I don't know. I don't know what else to add. Is it okay if we call it early tonight? That's fine, Stephen. Are we still on for next week? Yeah, I'll come back next week. Look, Stephen, if you're ever feeling down, you know you can always call me, right? Yeah, Ben. Thanks for the offer. I'll keep that in mind. Gee, I wonder what Hassan's up to. Oh, well. That's it. Work harder, you slaves. I'm gonna get my revenge on those puny little weasels. <laughs>